new program at the Vatican designed to reteach the clergy the right of exorcism. Wait a minute, you want me to be an exorcist? Two months in Rome, how bad could that be? This was taken at an exorcism in Turin. This man's jaw spontaneously dislocated while being read the Lord's Prayer. Tell me, Michael, do you believe in sin? Yes, I just don't believe the devil makes us do it. I recommend you pay a visit to an old friend of mine. Buongiorno. You're the American? Yeah. Don't like cats? Not particularly. Welcome to Rome. It's infested with cats. Make sure they don't come in. Do you know why Philip Lucas is famous? He's done over a thousand exorcisms. What is it you believe? That's not the devil. Does a thief or a burglar turn on the lights when he's robbing your house? No. He prefers you to believe that he's not there, like the devil. It gets complicated when no proof of the devil is somehow proof of the devil. She's choking! You're still not convinced. She doesn't need a priest. She needs a shrink. You be careful, Michael. Choosing not to believe in the devil won't protect you from him. Early signs of a possession are subtle. Social withdrawal, a persistent tremor in a limb. Michael, what's happening to me? If Lucas couldn't defeat it, how can I? Michael! The terror is real, Michael. Close the door, please. We don't want to be disturbed, do we?